I knew there was something missing from my setup. Um, welcome back everyone to the Ales and Fails Twitch stream. I'm your host, Ale Wolf. I drink and I fail. Happy Friday everyone and how are we feeling? Uh, I must apologize for anyone that was uh, watching the latter half of yesterday's show. Unfortunately, we hit some uh, bad uh, internet issues and uh, unfortunately the stream actually cut out before I could actually determine what was happening, which uh, caused uh, me to talk for 10 minutes without anybody actually watching. Which is not, not uh, you know, it's, uh, it's fine for practice, but uh, I could have saved my breath on that. Today though, uh, hopefully none of that will happen and our biggest problems will actually be some game bosses, hopefully in Hades and Elden Ring later in the afternoon if you're so inclined to stay. Um, I am accompanied by our good boy, uh, uh, half of Los Lobos Bacon and down there is also a churro. So uh, if you're interested in looking at Corgi, Corgi Butt, please let me know. <clears throat> um, but before we move into the action, let's go ahead and uh, check out what's on tap today. And I keep saying I should have some sort of bell whenever I talk about what's on tap. Maybe one day I'll get to it. Maybe I should actually rewatch some of these to remind myself. Today we're having a Midnight Brambler, which is actually a sour ale from our favorite brewery, Blue Oak. Uh, Blue Oak, here we go. I think you can actually only see the reverse of that. But that's Blue Oak, a crap brewery in San Carlos. Uh, let me see if there's any good notes on Untapped. Blue Oak. Midnight Rambler. Okay. So, it says here... Fruit, fruited sour with blackberry and black currant. I am a fan of blackberry. I don't actually know what black currants are. <laughs> Sounds like an exotic fruit. But then again, I don't really know my uh, my fruits very much other than the basic ones like bananas, apples, pears. Um, but uh, I think I'm going to shut up and just focus on pouring this thing. Fans of the stream will recall that uh, every time I try to pour and talk, 90% of the time a, a mishap will occur. Oh, this one has some good, nice color. I didn't actually expect this. So, sour uh, flavor in beers is one of the three major flavors you will find in beers. The other ones being sweet and uh, bitter. And of course, sour has that kind of tartiness uh, that you come to expect from certain juices and of course fruits. This beer over here is a, a dark lilac, I want to say. You can hardly see through it. The nose is also very tart. Fang and ale. So I wouldn't say it's overpoweringly sour, it's actually quite mild, which I enjoy. Uh, I know that not, not a lot of folks out there are big fans of sour beers, but with uh, items like these, I, I think that might change their mind. It, it almost tastes like a very, uh, like an alcoholic uh, light blackberry juice, if that means anything to you. I can certainly taste the blackberry. No, no idea about the, this blank current. Um, but you know what, that's okay. We don't need to capture every single fruit in our tastings. Let me go and ahead and update my ticker. Just so that those coming into the middle of the thing know exactly what's happening. And 
There he goes, that should have done it. With that, let's go ahead and move on to our game. Uh... Okay, so we're back in Hades. And we have 59 attempts. Well, our 60th attempt actually do the trick. Oh, how could I lose to him? So, uh, anyone who caught the last episode will recall that I actually lost to Theseus. Theseus and the Minotaur. I actually had had a very good run up until that point. I sacrificed all of my extra lives at that particular juncture, which was very disappointing. As soon as I heard you face the champion of Elysium himself, you know, I've heard that among mortals, it's an honor to be killed by somebody like Theseus. Keep it up and maybe you'll be famous too. How encouraging. Maybe. Sometimes I don't know on whose side you are, Hypnos. Disgraceful. To suffer such indignity from my own kin. Maybe I should give dear old dad a gift, but I don't think that option is available. No. <laughs> the vicious triple-headed Cerberus shows some restraint for now. Ah, uh, Cerberus, my third favorite dog. Uh, let's move the camera just a bit over here. Okay. And it seems like Achilles is missing. Actually, last time we met with Patroclus. Uh, and I was hoping to get a little more information about their relationship. Uh, what's up? So, more Infernal Trove contains more. I don't really want that right now. Add a chamber. I already have that, I guess. Some more house decor. I don't really have any interest in decorating the house before I get everything else that I need. House repair though. Which one of these is not cosmetic? They are all cosmetic. Two diamonds. Please do be careful out there, Zagreus. I'm trying, Orpheus. I really am. Ah. I what do you want from me? Leave me alone. We have nothing to discuss here anymore. I was just checking up on you. Just let me know if you wanted to talk for any reason. I'm not interested in having company, especially from you. You stay the hell away while I'm off duty. That's, uh, that's very thoughtful uh, of Zagreus. But it is kind of a rubbing a wound whenever we speak to her. I'll make sure everything is taken care of. Who doesn't love Dusa? Wish we could chat more often. Zagreus. Ah, uh, Mom. Nix, I've come to know the god of swiftness, Hermes, though it seems to me he doesn't work directly with the others on Olympus. Do you know him well? Lord Hermes is a point of contact, yes. Among Olympians, he works the closest with our operations here, and aids with shepherding the souls of the departed to our gates. Accept his help, for he is faithful to our cause. I get it. Thank you, Nix. Not that I wouldn't have uh, trusted him otherwise, uh, but it is it is good to know that he's got mom's approval. Thank you for waiting. All right. So as of the last time I played, I decided to specifically focus on using the Shield of Chaos. My thought is that um, 
I might simply try and get good at one specific weapon before diversifying. And maybe that's part of the reason why I haven't really moved very far in this game. Who knows if I, my theory will prove correct, but at least last time I had a really good run. Shadow Presence. No, no casting. What are we waiting for? What are we building towards? Privileged status. Oh, we already got a 30%. How many keys do we have? Wow, we are exactly one key away. Let's, let's go ahead and save up just for that. Maybe the next set of boons will actually uh, help us go a little bit farther. So yes, Shield of Chaos it is. That's the step. Should I uh should I change aspect though? Let me see into your past. I just like how this shield looks though. I'm almost keeping it just because of the look. And I don't know that I care for the blitz disc at all. Attack and strike damage. I could go back to the aspect of the Zagreus. And maybe this might Maybe if I make it stronger, it might be useful to use. I don't know though. And then... oh, please. Okay, so I'm keeping this aspect. My blade. That's not what I meant to do. Hit me with that, pal. Which and one? And I was having a. Uh, I was using Medusa's Deuce's Feather Duster simply because it allowed me to recover uh, health. I don't know if there's anything, um, anything else that I should be focusing on. I almost wish that you could equip multiple of these. It might be nicer. Old spike collar might be good too. And all of these are Pierce Butterfly. 1% damage each time you clear an encounter without taking damage. Well, how often does that actually happen? <sighs> that is nice though. To think. And I am never equipping that. And this is to look for Lord Chaos. I might just uh, power up the Pierce Butterfly. If only because it's from the Earth Anatos. Enough with the small talk, boy. Oh, hit me. Go on. Somebody's eager to get a whooping. All right, let's move on. No turning back. How suitably disgusting. Fling your blood at me like that again, boy, and I'll have you cast into the sticks where you can drown in it. Is what who is he talk is is he talking to us? Time for another blood spree then. Ah, Artemis. Favorite Olympians. So I have heard that Achilles himself taught you how to fight. No wonder you can hold your own down there. That is amazing. Do you be sure to honor him from time to time. Got it? Done and done. So attack is stronger. Your cast seeks foes. I'm not interested in that. And your dash strike deals more damage. 50% more damage. That is a... Uh, how is that not significant? Uh, let's dash strike some more. What was that? Oh, I see. 
Echoes of chaos. Get out. I'm trying to remember my controls here. It certainly doesn't help that I play this game only uh, every other week. Just tuning in, we're enjoying a midnight bramble and trying to escape Hades. Let me know in chat what you are enjoying this afternoon. Drink or game. The hammer of Daedalus. Let's fight. Special can strike up to four additional foes. That's amazing. Your special deals 50 damage to foes around you when you catch it. That one might be good too. And your bull rush gains a power rush that deals 500 extra damage. 500% extra damage. So could I... Actually, they're all pretty good. And I might consider this one specifically because it allows me, or at least it motivates me to use my Aspect's uh, special power. Oh, but that sounds so good though. <sighs> Let's just be fun. Oh, I don't know. Never been a finer shield. Loads every time I catch it. Look at that. All right, let's go visit Lord Chaos. I can take it. Oh wait, what is this? Fish. Time to fish. How was it too early? Definitely bombed. <sighs> Thank you for the reminder. Sufficiently amazing for me to persist. Chamber rewards are hidden, and afterwards you deal 77 more damage when striking from behind. That might be a reasonable enough uh, exchange. Wow, 46% more damage. Hmm. Let's go. Even more dash strike. Last key I need. Just me trying to avoid damage.
What have you got for me today? I can't say I need any of this. We can pass. He's trying to look for any uh, coin or hearts or anything like that. Ah, why does it have wings around it? something here but maybe that was my imagination uh, and of course pizza <clears throat> So now I think what I'm getting is more damage from my ch uh, shield charge. The power of Olympus. I swear I only have had one thing to choose from. Uh, let's get more coin. trial. Let's go meet Artemis one more time. It'll be unlikely that I'll escape this next room unscathed, but I think it'll be worth it. Time. I'm impressed. Impressed in myself. What a luxury. Olympus, I accept this message. Especially stronger. That's what I'm talking about. Uh huh. Your cast? Nope. 
Any damage you deal has a chance to be critical. Now my shield itself has the power of Artemis as well. Nice, nice, nice. Now really the only thing that doesn't have anything is my attack. I honestly wish generally I had a Athena's uh, boon simply because it allows me to deflect things. But beggars can't be choosers. One more, nice. I wonder how, if I can check how much it has actually increased. Let's see. Deadly Flourish. Ooh, now it's up to plus 6% damage, which is not something to scoff at. Let's see how much I can keep it up. Now I regret taking damage during that initial, uh, that first ever uh, chamber. It could be seven. It could be seven. Okay. though would have been nice and it's the heart of the centaur which I believe gives us more health a larger health pool let's move on So close, so close. Much better. It is still better than nothing though. Will I stay with a plus six percent for the rest of my run? Maybe. But it'll be a good six percent. And I think this is the only door out. Doors are never really that far apart, so my guess is yes. this count that is an encounter? I wish. I Pure centaur shot. heart. Maybe a fishing spot. Hmm. How much do I have? 274, which means that... 
Oof, one point away from getting these two. What could I get from Zeus? Well, let's see what it is. I'm getting it. See the people of the underworld has found the means to reach you with my blessing, nephew. Such strange alliances we forge these days. Ah, Zeus. I don't care for you, but I'll take your support. After you dash, just before getting hit, a bolt strikes a nearby foe. How does it predict that I'm gonna get hit? That doesn't that doesn't make a lot of sense. Uh, I could potentially do this. Though I really like the Ares' aid last time when it turned me into a deadly spin top. The Beyblade of Hell as I like to call it. I'm gonna wait for a better call. Should be interesting to see how it applies. Right now my dash has a lot. Uh, we can get burgers, but maybe I don't need it. Uh, yeah, I think I'll be fine. Alright, which one of the sisters will it be? Fingers next. crossed for Tisiphone. I knew it. Red blood. Good job, Red Blood. You made it all this way. Do we have but pet names now? I've got to send you back to Daddy now. Nothing personal. Wish you could join me, Electo. Want me to put in a good word with Father next time so you can come visit us at the house yourself? Ah, a sore point. Oh, you know, I'd rather have my eyes put out, but thanks for offering. Now, time to head on home. Standing on a trap, that was so dumb. I have to move. What am I doing here? Being needlessly offensive when I should probably be taking care of myself. Raise my shield on that, jeez. Wow. Oh, jeez. Spin tops from now. Alright, that's it. That's it. As if I actually have the metal. Jeez. I like how uh, my false bravado just clearly transformed against me on this one. say I'm very satisfied. I almost feel like restarting this particular run simply because I lost two uh, I lost two of them. Two lives. I don't even know what you call them anymore. And my, uh, my goggles seem to have fogged up, of course. This is what you call uh, perspiration. I think I can buy some of those back. Very, very sad. Whoa. 
well, Father. I'm trespassing through your secret hall and going up. Uh, oh, no, I can't buy any of them back. 23. You deal 50% damage, striking undamaged foes. That might be useful, but I want to save up for something better. Why not using anything? No. 40 coins. I bought good money for that one. My keepsakes. Halfway. We're halfway there. <sighs> Let's just keep going. See what happens. This might already be a suicide run, but practice makes perfect. Bone Hydra awaits. Don't even remind me. Spirit bomb of uh, motivation that would be quite useful. Uh, I'm going to very likely go with Hermes. I can't think of a, an instance that I haven't uh, appreciated his gifts. Uh, in this game, evasion is life, and speed feels evasion. To the next one. I'm so disappointed in that Electro fight. Should've been that much more careful. And of course with all the fire here, it's very unlikely that I won't get singed at least once. Which prevents my goal from increasing in power. Not that I ever imagined that uh, I would make it out of Tartarus and continue to receive benefits from that particular uh, trinket. More, just more. We're always ready. not even hurting me, it's just me landing on the lava. That's uh... <sighs> well, you are hot mess there, Cursor. What happened getting here? Oh, well, hope your travels find a little smoother here on out. Uh, here's hoping to Hermes. What have you got for me today? So more dashes, which is always great. Quick recovery. After taking damage, quickly dash to recover some hearts you just lost. That's not bad. Your special is faster. Mm, so I can throw my shield even. I'm going to go against better judgment and do this this one specifically because I want to power up my special as much as possible. Okay, Hermes. The underworld is an orderly place, but the souls of the dead must first be brought to its brink. He has much to do with this. He seems to have ingratiated himself to the boatman, Charon, 
notoriously unapproachable even by the underworld's own. Thus, it is my belief that Hermes... Hey buddy, what are you doing? What are you doing, Bubba? Here you go. Treats. Try not to fall, buddy. Here. Where was I? Charon. Notoriously unapproachable even by the underworld's own. Thus, it is my belief that Hermes, besides his many talents, is the god of more than he appears. <sighs> oh, and you want some too. There you go. Uh, churro and bacon must always get, when one gets a treat, the other one also must have the same. Okay, and so... My special is faster, 20% faster it's supposed to be. I'm not even going for that Infernal Trove. Let's just play it safe, I, I guess, play it safe. Might depend a bit more on my special, maybe. Here I am. No, I already got hit. certainly didn't help my health. Delicious. My special is even stronger. What is this? After you dash, a bolt strikes. Oh, that's that's the boon from Zeus that I can't tell that I, that has actually helped me this entire time. Let's go with more deadly flourish. Rely a bit more on the flying shield. And let's see if there's anything. So Charon shot, of course. Uh, Poseidon or Ares. I honestly don't know if, if this uh, was a viable run. I might go with, um, Something I can use. Ares. Get a random item. Uh, sure, why not? What's the worst that could happen? What do I get? Sticky and shard. I don't know what that is. But I want to get some life essence. Hmm. Let's see how far we can get here. And in terms of who I'm going to pursue, let's go with Ares. Can I actually see what I got? Sticky and Shard. Traps deal 500% more damage to my foes. I, I don't even notice when they fall on traps. Okay, let's move on. Oh, you can actually tell what's happening up here. I didn't even notice. Maybe I should check the menu every once in a while. <sighs> Especially when visiting a new restaurant. So two, do I have two of them? No, could, never mind. Never you mind that defiance, great reflex. Nope. Deep pockets, thick skin, Olympian favor. All right, let's just get out of here. <sighs> We're losing poise, and you know what happens when we lose poise? Who's the boss? Hello, witch's circle. Okay, of course, bullet hell. Why? How 
what did I? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, please take me out of my misery here. I'm very close to just committing suicide. This is such a sad run. I have the power. An electro. What does it mean it was electro? Every, uh, every time I hear the use of the word lecherous, I am only reminded of milk because of the Romance languages. Our messenger Hermes has been in contact with you by now, yes? Perhaps you shall not see him very often, for my work keeps him rather preoccupied shepherding souls and such. Wow, Hermes sure is the all of the hubbub these days. Your cast sends a blade rift, hurling ahead. So this is actually that um, Beyblade of Death that I remember. Do any of these cause uh, a prophecy to be foretold? Prophecy to be fulfilled, sorry. If you're slaying a foe, your next attack or special deals more damage. That's kind of cool. Attack inflicts doom. Uh, I really use my attack. I think I'm more dash striking than anything. Uh, hmm. I'll check this out. Violence. Oh, see, that's nice. See, that's a worthwhile use of your cast. Why didn't anybody think about that? So, it's only darkness ahead. And let's just check the stream. I think one of the things that I've learned is... Check the stream. Oh, and pressing the A button is not a particularly uh, in my nature since I never use it. Ah, oh, look at that. I hate to see that happen. <laughs> uh, my, my, my heart wasn't into it. it. It just, it's fine, it's fine. It's fine, ladies and gentlemen, it's okay. You know what? At least we have our midnight scramble. Um, midnight bramble? All right, then. Bramble scramble? Midnight brambler. <clears throat> and now at least we can unlock what's behind 30 chthonic keys. So that's something, right? Okay. Let's, uh... Let's give this one more go. Generally, I try to do. Sorry, I need to actually look at my clock. Got everybody's cause of death right here. It's real morbid stuff from time to time. That's what they're called. Slam dancer. Sounds like a character from NBA Jam. Um, what was I saying? So generally, I only do one Hades run per per stream since they generally take a a good while to end. But today, I guess we're actually going for two. Because I lost so pathetically. Um, thanks. Oh, Patroclus. You asked I train him, Master. Oh wait. Prepare him for life's labors. You ordered it. Now you admonish me. Oh, I see. Be careful of your tone and temper, Shade. You are in my employ. You could be wandering the pastures of Elysium again instead. For lesser planes, if I so choose. Those are harsh words for my favorite what teacher. What would you have me do? I shall be giving it some thought. Until then, you just watch that hole. And watch yourself as well. Jeez. I almost feel like saying, all right, uh, Achilles. Let's, uh... Achilles. Double tech on Hades himself right now. I'm sure we could take him. Oh, I'm like that. He's poof. Do you mind not picking on my friends, Dad? Time for servers. Where did he go? Mm. Mm. This does not bode well. What do you got for me? Anything new? Something new for the Great Hall? 
drapery. What is this? What's the new thing? Tries those who entered the house the painful way. Wait, there was something else. I'm sure nothing useful, but there was something else. Curiosity killed the cat. Sealed document, free Orpheus from... Oh, I already did this. Chambers may contain urns. Now these are things that I've already gotten. I'm just staring at things that uh, I should know that I already got, but it's like uh, it's like new to me since I really don't remember them. All right, nothing really useful. Would that I could aid you in some way, my friend. You can come out to the field with me if you'd like. Cheers, mate. Remember, there are those who love you, child. Ah, <sighs> Nix. If I could only believe you. Hello, hello. Um, I, 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 I'm sorry. I, I, I better get back to my cleaning. And there she goes. Like every lady in my life. Okay, any new prophecies? Something new in store for me. A violent past. But I still can't claim it, huh? Okay. Let's open up this mirror. Let's see the last of them. Ah, the last. Okay. Where, where's my, okay. Great reflex. Olympian favor. God's pride. Okay, this is new. Raise your chance for a boon to be epic by 1% per rank. Faded authority. Hey, what's wrong, buddy? What's wrong? <sighs> Bacon. Randomly alter the reward for the next chamber. One ch total chances per rank. I don't know what that means. Randomly? Reset talents. Reclaim any darkness spent on talents, giving up the benefits they grant for now. No, that's not happening. Okay, well, I can't say that I'm impressed by <coughs> either of these. Maybe this. So there's the boiling blood, there's the infernal soul. Uh, raise your supply, deep pockets. Start each escape attempt with some wealth. That could be useful in the immediate. That's not going to be useful for a while. <sighs> Would I waste 100% of these? Let me start with the coins for now. And I hit the max, of course. Well, so that means that now I start every attempt with 100 coin, which is not bad. And let's put in the rest to God's pride. All set. So that puts me at a little better than before. Who needs sleep? Not me. Not me. Is it? 304. Pacific Standard Time. And like I said, we're focusing on the Shield of Chaos. How much until this? Okay. Nine more encounters to rank this up. <sighs> Let's do this. Alright, one more time. <sighs> like Daft Punk once said. Aries, my friend. Perhaps you know a god called Thevitos. The two of us are very close associates, you know. Do give him my best wishes, should you see him soon. Unfortunately, I haven't seen him today, which is kind of sad. What am I doing here? Okay. 
your attack inflicts doom, your special inflicts doom, your dash creates a blade rift where you started. Uh, that might be fun. Are any of these prophecies? And this is damage over time, of course. Trying to get those percentages from my artifact. That's one. Get out of here. Get out of here, vase. Well, at least I have 100 coins. And that means something, doesn't it? Nice. If I don't get at least 5% extra damage, I won't be satisfied. Daedalus's hammer. Grapefruit, Hades, I mean, sorry, I keep making that mistake, Chaos. Let me have it. <sighs> what are you selling? I would have liked, in general, and in this specific, Okay, for the next few encounters you cannot collect. And then afterwards your cast deals more damage. Uh, no. Special deals 40% more damage. Let's go with this. I guess we'll have to try to avoid those bombs. Oh, and I lost my other chances to get that thing to the on that side. either Aphrodite or Ares. As much as I like to love with dear love to chat with dear Aphrodite, I'm gonna have to go with Ares once more. Need to increase my killing power. Ooh. Blasted wretches. deals more damage in a wider area. That might be cool. Oh, it's also part of a faded choice. The blade rift lasts longer. It's also and pulls foes in. Which one is cooler? Uh, hmm. Maybe this. The magnetic pull of the uh, Blade Rift. Let's go for the Centaur Heart. For you. 
chaos boon evolved a new effect. Nice. What is my chaos boon again? Let's see. Uh, the aspect of chaos. Blade dash. Not that. What was it? What was it? God's pride, Olympian favor. Thick skin. It had something to do. Caustic flourish. <sighs> I forget. I forget. I forget. Maybe it is this. Caustic flourish. Okay, so more power to my special. That's always nice. Captain America shield. And if you're just joining us, we're enjoying a Midnight Rambler from Blue Oak Brewing. A sour ale with blackberry and black currant. Artemis, I guess Artemis is the only way, which is fine, I do enjoy her doing this. Get the mad bombers that await me. Or slam dancers, that's what they were called one day. He runs again, huh? about the only way to go I don't doubt your assurance ah fate of choice no it's a cast any damage you deal has a chance to be critical any damage your special is stronger 58% more damage <sighs> let's go with powering up my shield my flying shield. Just a second here, folks. I need to... Let's take a quick bio break. I will be right back. Let's wait here at the door.
I think we needed a slightly shorter break than I expected. Imagine that. <clears throat> Let's keep moving. Clearly the main reason to get this aspect for the shield of chaos is to hear chaos is always every once in a while. Ah, and one more. 10% more darkness. Sorry. 10 more darkness, 1% more damage. And Teron, what do you have? I had 100 starting. Let's have a look here. 10% when you enter a chamber. That's nice. What is this? Sure. And why not? Anything to help my health. I have Karon's boom, but today I drink to your health as well. May you all be enjoying a happy Friday afternoon. Butterfly has ranked up. What is it now? Uh, let's see, where would that one be? Is it here? No, these are the effects of the um, mirror. Where is it? Oh, it's down here. So now it's 4% more damage. Oh, 4% more damage right now. Wait, that doesn't make sense. What do I have it as right now? I don't know. We'll figure it out someday. And I don't even know what this means. Crazy exclamation mark. Maybe it's one of those switch palaces from Super Mario World. shield and what does it read now i'm actually curious plus 5.5 percent oh so i'm assuming that the bonus damage has increased to 1.5 percent per chamber does that mean that at rank 3 it'll go to the almighty two percent let's keep powering up
Wow, so many of these guys. And one more. 1.5%, I was right. Good enough to eat. <sighs> Let's also power up that blade dash. What time is it? 3.23, okay. I think we're making good time. We might even... Uh, no, no, no. No time for that. At least not want not. Fishing time. How is that? You win this round, fish. I I am very confused as to what the requirements are here. Of course, we're gonna visit Lord Chaos, but just doing one last quick see through the room. Hit me. Hey, buddy. Let's see. In the name of Hades. Oh yes. The next three encounters, each time your special hits, you get hit for five hearts. No, <laughs> that's never happening. You can map collect. Oh, that would be good. Which you cannot collect. Let's go for this. Let's see how this goes. Daedalus' is hammer. Bottoms up. Bacon is gone. Your attacks hit twice, but does not knock foes away. So they just stay there frozen. After your special hits, your next two attacks. Hmm. During your dash, your special is faster and deals 200% more damage. He just grows stronger. <sighs> This is awkward. Hmm. I sense something of death upon you, Zacharias. What's that you have? Something from Thanatos, is it? It is, it is. Oh, this old thing. It's just a listless butterfly fan gave me, which happens to fill me with even more supernatural strength than usual. Don't pay it any mind. Not even Thanatos can help you here. But if I ever start a blood collection, I'll know who to call. <sighs> Those words. Play it safe, ladies and gentlemen. I'm tired of losing. If I just have her follow my trail, it'll be easy because she will just walk right into my blade rift. We 
didn't lose any lives, but we're essentially at death's door here. 4%. Ludicrous. Hopefully we can recover some in the next room. Let's keep moving. That was a fun fight though, I, I will admit that. Here's to a pleasant voyage up in Aspetan. Got to keep going. Don't even remind me. Could try a different one. Ooh, 47 encounters. It's gonna be a while. Scoozy. <clears throat> I think I need this. No, that burned me last time. I guess I could splurge, but there's no need to do that right now. Okay, so now we are taking a real bio break. We will be right back, folks.
uh, we are back folks and I decided to grab something else from the fridge because it's actually getting rather toasty around here uh, but maybe that's just the nervy nervousness uh, today I'm going with a num num juice which is a hazy IPA from Fall River Brewing and if I'm not mistaken I've already had it before let me let me go ahead and check my untapped and if you are on untapped uh, follow me, I am at Aylwolf. <sighs> but given that it's not as popular as uh, Twitter or Instagram, I'm going to assume that uh, maybe you haven't caught on yet. So Num Num Juice, I haven't had it, I guess, on stream. Num Num Juice is a hazy IPA. is a tropical juice bomb that shifts to an almost candy-like finish on both the nose and palate while being served in a coconut with a little umbrella seems fitting. The can it's in will have to do. It's so num num that it might leave you num num. Very, very clever sound play there. So drink responsibly. Cheers. I always wonder why these, uh, why beers there suggest that you drink responsibly. Um, and, and no, I'm not trying to deny the fact that uh, you know, uh, having alcoholic beverages can lead you down trouble, but it is, um, I feel like it's, uh, it's a given that you should be drinking responsibly. Uh, whenever you're imbibing any sort of a mind altering, uh, agents, and speaking of mind altering agents, I do remember having this particular beer off stream, um, and the thing that I associated with it was actually uh, being uh, under the influence of other mind-altering agents. Just the idea of it being numb, numb juice reminds me of the feeling of feeling numb. So if you're a fan of a uh, weed. There are certain hazy IPAs that are there for you. Fang and Ale. <sighs> does not disappoint. It does have a candy-like finish. I guess I had noticed that flavor before, but I couldn't quite put a descriptor to it. Let me go ahead and update my ticker before we move on. Num num juice. Alright, let's get back to the action. We're in mid-run through our second Hades attempt for the day. Just made it to Asphodel. I don't like my health right now, but uh, we'll have to make do. And hopefully we do, do not run out of time because in about half an hour we have to jump into the world of Elden Ring. We've got friend of the stream joining us very soon. Okay, only gemstones, that's kind of sad. Percentage. I'm impressed in my with myself. Mine now. <sighs> that was a, the sound of the void itself. So either coin or Hermes. It'll have to be Hermes. It'll always be Hermes. Steady now. Again, a 
hate the trap. That level is my own goal. It is not the enemies, I swear. Well, now that that requirement is passed, I might as well just go all out. Somebody could help you out with that. Huh, fancy that. What a coincidence. And here you are. I don't need this. Don't need a side hustle. Oh, faster. Let's go for the hyper sprint. I like the idea of becoming sturdy. Coin or switch palace. Must be Eurydice. Oh, I remember her. Morpheus's muse. in Asphodel reverberates the golden sounding voice of Lord Eurydice, who once attempted to escape the underworld and failed utterly, much like Prince Agrius. You watch yourself, old man. Let's, uh, let's give her something nice. Eurydice, thank you for making me feel welcome in your pleasant home. Can't say the same for most places I've been lately. I have a small gift I wanted you to have. Oh, that's awful sweet of you, your royal majesty. Bringing me fresh ingredients like this. You know what? Here's something for you two. Help keep you safe out there. You didn't have to. Thanks so much. An evergreen acorn. Hey, hun, what's going on? Speak up. I know when something's up down to my roots, and something's up. So I guess you already see his half tree, if, if I'm reading her image properly. Well, it's just, I think you may know an Orpheus, don't you? Quite musically inclined, a little dour, impressive hair. A He's little a dour. In my father's house, calls you his muse. Says he misses you terribly. I thought you should know. Orpheus said all that, huh? Tell you what, the next time you run into him, you ask him about the time that he came all this way to try and save me, even though I was already dead. Can you guess how that turned out? I can only imagine. Um, yes, I do believe I can. Look, I, I didn't mean to upset you. Yeah, well, neither did he. But you know what? Actions beat intentions, hon. Now here, how about a treat and you can be on your way? Thank you. Up to two random boons of yours are upgraded to the next rarity. Oh, that's nice. Up to four random boons of yours. That's more than this. Oh wait, this is rarity. And this is levels. I didn't know booms had the... Uh, could upgrade in rarity. Next three booms you have. Upgraded rarity. Freshly made. The hyper so sprint much. and the blade dash. Okay. Mortality and immortality are closer than most gods care to believe. There are such minor gods as can be killed. So it's with nymphs and all the naiads and the dryads and the like, the spirits of the woods, and seas and skies. In life, they captivate our moral senses and imaginations, but in death, we all more alike.
Whoa. Look at that. Okay. Society. Thanks again. Farewell, Your Majesty. Very kind of this room. Okay, who's here? Is it the hiker? Sorry. Oh, now I remember this. That's just two bones. Not that I care for my uncles, but if I had to choose one, it would be Poseidon. Uh huh. That's fine. No. What's wrong for the first 10 seconds in an encounter? Uh. Honestly, none of these are particularly tantalizing. Let's just take this one now and sell it later. So that's coin. What is this? Oh, that's where I came from. I guess there's only one way to go. Gemstones or darkness. I don't even know why I need the Sathonic keys anymore, to be honest with you.
darkness. And so, oh, Charon's away. Yes, please. Hit the spot. Might as well start using some of this. Anything else? Ooh, Charon. I have 400, so I might as well just uh, check it out. Just a bit of housekeeping before I move on here. That's interesting. Nobody ever messages me on Twitter. Just tidying up a bit. That wasn't a request, that was a rhetorical statement. Okay. And I actually have enough money for everyone. What are you gonna say? I'm an Asphodel now, aren't I? I'd always heard this was some flower covered meadow type place, not such a terrifying hellscape. <laughs> okay. Couldn't agree more, mate. I don't know, I expected something different. But that's fine. Uh, let's go for Ares first. Cheers, mate. I knew that foul potion would come through and you would find amongst his wares this gift. Excellent. What have we got from your cousin? Mm. Vicious cycle. Ooh. Yeah, let's do that. I will keep fighting. Also, that's a relief. And just give me everything. Look at that. More destruction for us. Let's go take on that Hydra. And watch how it decimates us. Come and get it.
have stayed so far away from my range. That's all the heads. This might have been a slightly more useful transaction. Thank you. But that's okay. Let's go to that fishing spot now. <laughs> so silly. Come fishies. I, I just don't get it. Maybe I need to read a strategy guide on Hades fish fishing because uh, I am not uh, I'm not doing well. Okay, given we're so close to our Elden Ring time, we're just gonna go all go out. No further, boy. I'm warning you. Well, thank you for the warning. Or else what, Father? <sighs> what can we buy here? I needed one of those. <sighs> Maybe if I sell some something. <laughs> no, not not happening. Yeah, that's all. Right. No, let's see. One Take more floor. Up. Hopefully, we make it to the old Theseus and Minotaur before before our time's up. Shrouded river of forgetfulness, Lethe, flows through the hallowed chambers of Elysium, numbing old pains and memories of the most noble shades residing there. I'll have to give them new pains to recall. The Hammer of Daedalus. Generally, I would go for that, but um, I think we're in a rush. More wealth, quick recovery. Let's dash some more. Felt that. Sent our heart. Let's go. Got an archer on me. Nice that the butterflies actually uh, bounced off, uh, had the shield bounce off of them. That would be fun. So, more hearts potentially. That might be nice. No. And so, it's Artemis or another centaur heart. Could use a chat with cousin Artemis. I know that toll. Death has come. Oh. 
I see. Barely caught up with you here, Zag. You must have had a little help from Hermes, I suppose. Good to see you, Thanatos. I'm wearing your Let's accessory. See quickly we can wrap this up. Let's see indeed. have certain traits in common, I suppose. Each solitary and committed to their work. If only my lord Hades understood that someone such as Artemis could be someone to confide in, rather than resent along with all the others on Olympus. Very profound. In the name of Hades. So, stronger attack. Ah, fated choice. Six. Let's just take this since it's a faded choice. I have no interest in its effects. This was a waste. I've got to hand it to you, Zag. You're easy to track down. The shades of Tartarus are beginning to fear you even more than your Lord Father. Well, they won't fear me once they get to know me. I'm not so sure about that. Even I'm beginning to fear you, I think. Seems I don't know you as well as I thought. Okay. Thanatos, sorry, Chaos or Poseidon. Chaos, Charon, 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 Chaos. What have we got for me, Baldwin? What is this, just a random... Keep me going. And so Aries or Daedalus. The Minotaur. We meet again, short one. For further battle. <sighs> You've got my number. Short one. It's a low blow, sir. I thought you were the big honorable type. Oh, you mock my chance of honor. That swing just comes out of nowhere. It's quite more inspiring when you think about it. And we got him there again. No matter how fast I am, his axe is just that much quicker sometimes.
are you impervious? Yes. It's like Asterius, but by itself it's actually quite mana. be wrapping up here shortly folks so just a bit of housekeeping I don't think I've ever actually faced Asterius as a mid-boss uh, yet. After using a death defiance, deal more damage to that specific encounter. Let's go with this, I like this. Kill or be killed. One more extra weapon. broke we have to try and finish this uh, run in the next five five minutes Ooh. archers now I doubt we're gonna finish the game Hades in five minutes but my greater call. <sighs> Maybe I did. No need to be conservative anymore. All of these baby chariots. I 
can't believe this is the second time on stream I have to say, why does everything have to come in baby form? Voices are babyfied. Let's not use class here, folks. Use the ALs and fails to stream. But there's something we can't lose. It's class. Beautiful. So much coin. And yet no use for it. Karen, Karen, Karen. An encounter. Sure, why not? Might find something good. Patroclus? Where are you? There's <laughs> something wrong there, sir. I mean, shouldn't you be up and about competing for eternal pride and glory and all that? What's the use? Let's say we fought, if anybody asks. Now go. I've no quarrel with you. Besides, I'll just remain here comfortably at rest for some untold millennia, I guess. Have a nice whatever time it is. <sighs> wow. That is, uh, that is absurd. Time to replenish. Ten encounters. That's attack though. Sure. Thanks, sir. All of the death divides. And 500. That's insane. That's insane. That never happened. No urns permitted in this chamber. We can probably get everything. Yes, we can. Dionysus. Use this. My spirit beast. Hangover. Ah, that sounds nice. It's also a faded choice. Thank you, Uncle. Uh, thank you, cousin. The power of the gods. No, I'm not doing that. And sure, might as well waste I'll pay for that. on this, since we don't actually know if I'll make it out of the Theseus battle. But it would be nice. It would be nice. Let's see if there's any hearts here. Well, whatever the outcome of this uh, fight is, we'll be wrapping up the Hades stream at that point, since we'll be ready for the Elden Ring at that juncture. Sorry, just uh, messaging friend of the stream, John. Alright, let's do it, folks. Let's take everything we've learned and apply none of it. Rematch. What hope of you, monster, versus the blessed bonds of Oh, shut up. Let's not belittle him, King. He is more powerful than he appears. We must remain alert this time. The power of the Pompadour. Oh, I am perfectly alert right now, Asterius. And were I still alive, I would be positively salivating at the thought of running through this pustule with my spear, or whichever means I had available. Now let's go. Excellent. Oh. Yeah, that's a
I see his health is uh, not decreasing. That's not I uh, I can only assume that my blade drift finished before I actually noticed, but that's fine. That is fine. All right, and that does it for Hades, folks. We're gonna move on to Elden Ring now. If and if uh, that's your poison of a uh, poison de jour, please stay tuned. But otherwise, if you'd like to see what happens next in my Hades adventure, tune in uh, two weeks from now when I'll be resuming it. And if uh, you'd like some more uh, retro variety, I stream on Thursdays. I'm doing either Banjo-Kazooie or Super Metroid. So uh, however it is you feel, I'll see all of you at the other side of this break. Stay thirsty, Wolfkin.
which means that everyone can probably hear us properly. Hello and welcome back to the Ails and Fails Twitch stream. I am your host, Alewolf, and as I like to say, I drink and I fail. Uh, today, we've got another chapter in the ongoing saga that is uh, Elden Ring as played by somebody who has not played any Soulsborne game in the past uh, and having a uh, wonderful time at it. Let's leave it at that. Uh, and with us, we have friend of the show, John. John, how are you doing today, sir? I'm doing good, and uh, a, a small correction. Uh, it's no longer Soulsborne, it's Soulsborne Kiro now. Because remember, there's also Sekiro, and I guess the extension of that, now that there's Elden Ring, it would be like Soulsborne Kiro Ring. Soulsborne Kiro Ring. At yes. some point, somebody's gonna make an acronym out of all of those and simply uh, make some sort of portmanteau and make it a little less uh, unwieldy. Um, but stay tuned for that. Stay tuned for the wieldiness of uh, this franchise. Um, so, have you been playing Elden Ring since we last played together? I did play a little bit. I'm still in the castle, but. Um... I made a little bit more progress. I found another side of Greece. That's uh, that's good. Sites of Greece are always decent. I did play once between this session and the last session we played, and uh, I essentially spent two hours trying to defeat Margit, uh, and I didn't get any farther uh, into it. So. Uh, Maybe this stream will just be me trying to beat it. Though I was thinking that maybe I should try to try other bosses before uh, moving forward with this particular enemy. Uh, I'm not sure yet. I guess we will find out. But before we get into the game, before we get into what everyone really actually wants to see, let's uh, let's go ahead and discuss what's what's on tapped. What's on tap? Not what's on tap. That doesn't make sense. So to today we are having a num num juice, and if you are joining me from the Haiti stream, you'll uh, you'll recall this one. It's a hazy IPA, which means it's not one of those bitter IPAs. It's actually got a slightly more floral taste to it. Um, I wouldn't say it's got tropical fruit flavors associated with it, which is what I generally expect from hazy IPAs. It's actually a little more citrus, uh, maybe uh, maybe grapefruit flavor which is what I like to think of my slightly more bitter hazy IPAs. And um, one thing that I discovered by simply reading the untapped description is that it, it does have a um, candy-like finish. Well, what did it say exactly? Um, yes, a candy-like finish. So it has a, it has a very interesting uh, end to it. Um, which I couldn't describe before until somebody read it that way. So, uh, fang and ale, uh, dear viewers. Very rich, very numbing taste. A slight numbness that uh, reminds me of more, uh, more relaxed times. But with that, let's go on to the main event. <laughs> Is 
Does it actually numb your mouth when you drink it? It's kind of interesting. I think it's a it's certainly a flavor that is reminiscent of that. Uh, I don't know how to suggest the idea, but it does. Okay, so I guess without trying to go too much into uh, riddles here, I am suggesting that it reminds me of the flavor of an edible. Uh, that that is what I was trying to uh, circumnavigate, but clearly failed. You're familiar with edibles, aren't you, John? Yeah, I guess you could say that I am. Yeah. Not very good experiences, but I guess you could say that. Yeah, so it's a, it's a very relaxing uh, flavor. You know, actually, last time I was playing, I realized that the Table of Lost Grace is actually all the way over here in the corner of the map, which is uh, something that I... I wasn't aware of until I started navigating the map. That was kind of funny. So I think what we're gonna do is I'm going to try Margit maybe once or twice. And after I fail those two times, I'm just going to go try something else. How about that? Sounds like a plan. Castle Ward Tunnel. Why is it called Castle Ward? All right. And let's summon Roger, our friend, our trusted friend. And we go by doing B, jump by A. And okay, I drank a file for no reason. Great. I hate it. I hate it doing that. We didn't know you could summon your wolves in this fight. Wow. I hit the roll instead of the attack. My foolish ambitions. Hey, I'm always down to give you a hand if you want. Uh, let's see what time is it. Hold on a second. Uh, you know what? Let's try that in exactly one hour. I think the viewers deserve something worthwhile watching. <laughs> I'll just try this one more time just to get my feelings for this game again because clearly I was making some very rookie mistakes there but somehow I was actually doing slightly better than I remember out of curiosity do you have any other spells apart from your heal do you start out with any other spells uh yeah there is a uh, assassin's uh, approach or something like that
right, I think we can move on. So. You know what's really frustrating? People visiting my house in the middle of a stream. Uh, but let, let me actually go ahead and uh, let's look for the beast man of Faram Azala. And just Google that. I think if memory serves, it should be like right, it should be near that bonfire right after you leave the tutorial like dungeon. If you like, I think if you go straight north along some mountains, Wait, what in kind of a wooded area. Uh, are you talking about the first bonfire? Yeah, the one where you meet that jolly guy, the one that's happy to see you. Okay, I guess I will take your word for it. Uh, let's see. Okay. Okay, let's... Where's my mouse? The jolly guy. So, next to the Cave of Knowledge or Stranded Graveyard? Uh, they, they're right next to each other, so it actually doesn't even matter. Oh, here we go. White Mask Varey. The White Mask. I vaguely remember this place. And what what did you say? It was east or something? I think if you open up your map, it's going to be it's going to be towards the north, near some I think some mountains. Well, you know what? We're just gonna. I guess we're just going to explore. See what's up. I would definitely explore next to those cliffs. <clears throat> you know what would be nice is probably having a mini map as you're navigating through things here. So anyways, how has your week been? Uh, mine's been okay. Been uh, a little bit under the weather, but overall pretty good. Oh yes, COVID concerns? No, no COVID concerns. More like uh, just ear problem concerns. Ah, that's a tough one. Clearly, I don't know. I probably should have been going west. So the thing is going to be in the cliffs towards the north. Um, it's kind of like... Do you remember that place... Uh, where, like, there was a campsite full of, like, those knight characters where you killed. You mean the Town of Friends? It's it's towards the direction of the Town of Friends. If you're actually heading towards the Town of Friends, there's a forest in between. I think it's going to be dead west of the forest. Oh, I see. Oh, I guess I do see an outcropping there. So maybe I'm gonna teleport to the Church of LA instead. Church of Helen. Yeah, it would also take the opportunity if you have any extra weapons or any equipment that you've gotten from people to sell it at that merchant because I don't think anybody at Round Table Hold lets you like sell stuff to them. At least I haven't had any luck.
Have you been watching anything good recently? I've been meaning to watch uh, the second season of The Boys, but I haven't been able to. Something that's definitely been on my radar. I've actually just been consuming a bunch of, like, um, Better Call Saul and Breaking Bad video essays. Oh, and uh, have you learned anything from uh, those video essays? Um, not anything that I didn't already know. But uh, they're, they're always still interesting to watch because it's kind of just, you know, they always show scenes of those shows and it's kind of kind of nice to get somebody else's opinion on them. Right. I, I like how you are suggesting that you knew everything about uh, Better Call Saul. I mean, yeah, I knew everything. I knew where I was going to go. Yeah. <laughs> That's good. something is here let's see yeah you're looking for a cave specifically like a cave against the cliff cliff cave no I'm just saying you're looking for a cave entrance oh wait I see something there Yes, time for some spelunking. Also, why does a cave have wooden doors? That is a good question. Stormfoot catacombs. Oh, actually, I don't know if that's... That's where that guy, where the beast man is. Might be something different that you've stumbled upon. Well, let's check it out. Oh, did I just randomly pass the time? Okay. Well, at least I've got some num num juice. You know, one of the things, uh, one of the, uh, challenges let's say of being a quote-unquote variety streamer is the fact that because I'm jumping between different consoles my confirms and cancels are different and so I have to relearn them on the fly mm -hmm. <laughs> that's pretty funny proper death means returning to the earth tree some demons I guess <sighs> that sucks that's what happens when you go to uh, corners that you don't recognize but maybe I can just touch them without even entering the room I feel like I'm dead and so I stop doing things but I haven't died and then I just die immediately uh, mm -hmm. I wish there was a clear marker that just said you are dead right now stop acting or something like that I've actually never encountered that blood loss before that's kind of interesting 
Maybe you die instantly if it fills up the gauge? Uh, maybe. I'm gonna fight that thing, though. Where is it? There it is. That rat bastard. to avenge yourself yes though I kind of did it without uh... God, how to say I, I didn't do it cleanly it was more of a just I'm going to mash buttons until it's dead all right I feel like there should have been something more in this room there's just a chair in the middle of the So you're aware that apparently George R.R. R. Martin had a hand in, in like the world building of this game. Did you know that? You know, uh, when you originally started that sentence, I thought you were going to say, like, going to give me some very recent news. Like, oh, did you know that George R.R. R. Martin, R. Martin just died or something like that? <laughs> uh, I mean, that would be awful. Uh, yes, it would be. So why are you laughing at that? Uh, but uh, yes, I am aware of the fact that uh, he was um, integral in creating the lore of this world. That is what I have heard. I don't, I don't know that he was involved in creating the game, but I know that he was involved in uh, designing the lore. Is what I is what I heard. Why? Yeah, apparently, apparently he wasn't involved in creating the game, or I don't think he was even involved in creating of the of the story proper. I think he mostly just worked on the world. Um, but the reason why I asked is because I know that you are a person who has watched Game of Thrones before, so I guess my question to you is do you at all feel uh, his his handiwork or his presence in, in the world, in the world building of this game? Uh, currently? Uh, no, not really. Mm -hmm. I'm sure that I mean, it will become more, more apparent as a... <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> as I uh, learn about the lore. But uh, right now, not really. And that's, that's fair. Just kind of curious on somebody who's actually watched Game of Thrones' take. Because, um, I've, oh, I, from my impression, I've never seen Game of Thrones, but from my impression, Game of Thrones seemed like a pretty... How to say this? I don't want to say, like, basic fantasy, but I do want to say it's like, you know, <clears throat> it seems like it was pretty low fantasy, like, there's not, there's not too many, um, fantastical, like, insanely fantastical or revolutionary things, uh, that... You know, I, I kind of think of when I think of Game of Thrones, mm -hmm. you know, again, prefacing it with, you know, saying that I've never seen Game of Thrones, but yeah, nothing here particularly struck me as, you know, Game of Thrones-ish. Well, so I was listening to a podcast that was talking about this game, excuse me, when it first started, and they actually suggested that he had actually very little to do with, uh, like he established some uh, flourishing overtones for the story, gave characters names, but uh, that it wasn't it wasn't as significant as people make it out to be. And, and maybe I'm mistaken. What is this? It's like a fire room? Are you are you watching this stream by the way? Have you ever been here? Uh, no, never. Okay. 
well, I might be the first player that has ever been here, then there's a possibility, right? If, I mean, it would be cool if they made a Souls-like game where it was procedurally generated, so maybe people got, like, completely, completely unique dungeons. Yeah. Wow. There's room to go over there. I also wonder if uh, fire is the sort of thing that causes instant death. It feels like it would. Rattling pate, hello. Can I break this? Up? Oh, I guess I did break it. a single touch of fire that'll kill you, I guess. <laughs> okay, that doesn't make sense, by the way. I don't even think that makes sense in real life. Um, but what can you do? Uh, all of that, all of those runes. Hey, but maybe the thing that I found is something important. Yeah, yeah, I'm kind of curious what you found. Here it is. It emits a voice that says hello. Should I just use it? See what happens. Uh, yeah. Well, okay. Good. Mission accomplished. Nice. Oh, by the way, were you saying anything else about George R. R. Martin before the fire? Oh, I, I was just saying that, uh, at least according to what I heard, his uh, contributions were limited. That, that's, that's all I meant to say. Um, mm -hmm. Which, I, I'm sorry if that is not true, that is, that is simply what I heard. I mean, I guess I could see the the case for, you know, paying an author a lot of money just so that you can tie his name to your product. Although I, I really don't know if, you know, the souls like games really needed it. I don't even I don't think either party needed it. So it would be kind of curious if there if he really if there wasn't any involvement from him, but he still they still decided to attach his name to it. I can't say I disagree. How so? 
No, I said I can't say that I disagree with what you're saying. Oh. Speaking of Game of Thrones, are you watching that new series uh, from Game of Thrones? Uh, Game of Thrones, House of the Dragon? Yes. I am not watching House, Game of Thrones, Hot House D. House of the Dragon. Yes. The, the acronym. But no, I'm not watching. Stuff. Nice. <clears throat> It was only 300 of them, so actually not that useful. Okay, so... If only I could summon my horse here, that might be easier. You should also be able to sprint by holding down your roll button. Be wary of left. Uh, so I made it halfway. I, I just want to turn it off. Seriously, just die before turning off the trap. Wonderful. Ah, who knows if I'll get these ruins back. That was dumb. Well, I guess now we're committed. That's how they get, yeah. There's a summoning pool. This is not the kind of game where if you break vases, bosses, that you'll find some rupees or something, right? <laughs> I've been breaking vases since the beginning of this game and I have yet to find anything, but I still do it. Okay. Good to know. You never know until one day you get something. Oh nice, it's off. I'm gonna summon some wolves. Oh wait, I can't summon them. Okay, whatever. These critters are very strange. It's like they only interact with you if you strike them, but...
seriously? They just all gang up on you. Maybe I shouldn't even attack them. Maybe that's the key. Well, it's kind of like in Dungeons and Dragons. Not everything has to be a uh, not everything has to be a hostile encounter. Use some diplomacy, is that what you're suggesting? Yeah, use some charisma. I do have to say from the bits and pieces that I'm seeing from your, uh, from your stream, I am liking the design of that dungeon. Even if I am putting up my shield, they still inflict this status effect. It's a little annoying. Alright, so I'm gonna recover my runes and then I'm going to leave. take the pacifist route. How many of these are there? There's one there, two, three. There's one right there, four. Five. So now we go up the ladder and see what's up. Literally see what's up. Hey, so out of curiosity, have you uh, heard the news about PlayStation changing some of its international uh, console prices for the PlayStation 5? Uh, I did hear that. They were uh, increasing the price of its PlayStation 5 on some other market. Mm -hmm. uh, I yeah. don't know exactly which market they were changing it for, though. So apparently they changed it, like, I think in Europe, in Japan, I think also, like, in Canada and Mexico. I think it was, like, almost a 20% increase, and they gave, like, some bogus excuse that it's because of inflation. And the funny part about it is that, uh, like, Microsoft and Nintendo both responded right afterwards saying, Yeah, we're not going to increase prices. That's funny. What was it? Some sort of chip shortage thing? Uh, they gave some kind of excuse about uh, you know, the market, and they need to adjust prices. But then, you know, kind of Nintendo and Microsoft both clap back and, and saying, you know, we're not going to raise the prices of the Switch or the Xbox Series S, respectively. Ooh. Wandering Noble Ashes. I'm guessing this is a new summon. And I think that yeah, is nice. the reason why I came here, would be my guess. Because there's no other way. Coffin ahead, likely a corpse. Oh my god, why do I keep doing that? Uh, well that's, uh... That's unfortunate. Not that I am suggesting that uh, a multi-million dollar company like Sony uh, really needs to respond to inflation, but I am assuming something forced them to uh, change their price. Sorry, compel them. I doubt that anything forced them to change the price. Or Sony has been forced. <laughs> they are. <laughs> <laughs> it's 
It was uh, it was non consensual. <laughs> <laughs> they were struggling. They were on the street. Sony wondering about peddling its wares, <laughs> begging for a solace. Okay, and this is literally the way out, actually. I like the fact that I got some ashes, but I am not happy by the fact that I got killed so many times. I thought there was going to be a boss or something. Maybe the ashes were the key to be defeat Margit. Do you think, do you think that those ashes specifically are the key to defeating Margit? Is that, is that I even mean, how it's pronounced, by the way, Margit, not Marger? I don't know. I'm not French. Does it look like my name is Jean? The key to, uh... The key to pronunciation is being French. Yes. Well, I mean, if, if you do beat Margaret with the ashes, it would be a nice kind of story arc for your character. Alright, I'm not fighting those things again. This is a dead end to me. Okay, so I'm gonna say uh, mission accomplished, even though I didn't actually find the dungeon that I was actually looking for. He has to be nearby there, the beast man. This door remains, whatever it is. Hold on, before I try it again, let me go ahead and save. How close am I, am I to leveling up? Uh, only halfway there. And every time you go to the... What's it called? The uh, bonfire, you say that monsters respawn, right? Yes. Okay. Yeah, so are you seeing... Are you checking my stream? Like, what? what is this symbol supposed to be at the door? It looks like a tree. Is it uh, a boss yeah. symbol? No, I don't think that's a boss symbol. I think that's supposed to be the Erg tree. Ah, uh, okay. Well, let's let's see if I can open it today. Locked by some contraption. Hmm. something else in this place look carefully ahead there has to be something I'm not getting here you have to think about it like uh, how you thought about dungeons when you play Dungeons and Dragons. You know, maybe I should equip that torch. Maybe I need to light some flames here. You know, like Zelda? That could be true. As soon as I equip a flame, it's got, I'm gonna go into heavy load. <sighs> Guess it'll just be for a second. I don't 
think I'm lighting anything. If I had to guess, it's probably something deeper in the dungeon. Maybe there's some room that you didn't visit, or some something deeper in there. I doubt it that it, that the key to opening it is right there because I don't know. It just doesn't seem like the developers would do that. Okay, I guess I'll. I was wondering why I wasn't hitting the thing, and it's because I didn't even have my sword equipped. Wonderful. I was just punching Hey, at it. least you killed them with the shield. Well, you know how it is. Shields are very powerful weapons. What is this? Wish my shield could do that. fire is gone. I'm sure all the hundreds of people we are watching on stream right now are holding their tongues trying to tell me what the answer is. But they're all very respectful and being like, oh no, he has to find out by himself. By himself. Yeah, is there one of your stream rules, no backseat gaming? Yeah, yeah, exactly. That's, that's one of my rules. to kill these guys but it's actually quite difficult to pull it off range battle ahead I don't have any ranged weapons unfortunately you could craft some throwing knives
sometimes it seems like I'm dodging out of the way, but no, it is actually just I am dying animation. That's where I died. Okay, we're getting close. I will be right back. Sounds good. that before. One torch is on and then the other one is not.
down and then behold, hidden path. Really? Okay, well, I'll try it afterwards. where we found those ashes so now we go back down could this be a trap be wary of right try down and then behold there's a hidden path oh wait a second I am back hello any of luck yeah, I have. So, rather than taking the long way back, I guess I was supposed to go to this middle level, which I never... I didn't realize before. And there is a lever. Yeah. Okay, good. Pull the lever. Somewhere a heavy door has been opened. I'm assuming it is probably that door. I'm gonna go to the place of rest or whatever. Did you ever end up killing those goblins that gang up on you? I did. Oh, every single time there is a message on my screen, it's like I can't do any battle actions for some reason. Oh yeah, I hate that. I don't know why it lingers so long. Alright, can I level up still? Can I, may I level up? Oh, it looks like I can. Let me go ahead and do that before I go into the secret door. Let me find my uh, handy dandy um, build that I was looking at. Paladin build. Pull so, out the spreadsheet. Yeah, pull out the spreadsheet. So I, my vigor should be at 18, strength should be at 22. To start, anyways. I think maybe Vigor might be the most ideal right now since I am trying to get slightly more HP. Let's go for that. Let's go for that. Uh, where am I? I do like leveling up because it, it uh, locks in whatever runes I have. It's very reassuring. It makes me feel relaxed. All right, but with that, I'm going to go uh, on a short bio break and uh, get the next drink. So I'll see you on the other side, John. That was good.
Okay, and we are back. And of course, my camera chooses to be out of focus at this time. Uh, as the last drink of the evening, we'll have a classic for this stream, North Coast Brewing Old Rasputin. Not that we are in support of Russia, but this is an Imperial Stout style that hails from there. Uh, friends of the stream will recall that this is actually a rather bitter uh, stout and largely the reason why we ever have it is simply because it's strong alcoholic content is a perfect recipe to finish any good stream. You, uh, you are a fan of the Russian Imperial Stouts, John? Uh, yes. Yes, of course. All right. Excellent. Well, uh, bang a nail, dear viewer. As bitter as the taste of defeat. Let me go ahead and update my ticker before we jump back into the action. All right. Now everyone wondering what we're having. We'll know exactly what's the case. So we were just about to check out what was behind the door. I'm sure it's a boss, but uh, you know, it could be something completely different. It could just be like a friend. It is true. Could be somebody that just says, hey, have a sword or have this gun. <laughs> it will help you defeat Margit. Have a gun. Have the... Margit, Margun, have the Margan. Um, or you know, it could be something closer to like uh, Kojima saying, "Oh, hey, Snake, I've been waiting for you a long time." Yes, yeah, it could totally be. That. <laughs> well, it looks like it's a. This means that it's a boss room, right? Are Are you even looking? Uh... Are you seeing what I'm seeing? Yeah, yeah, that I, that usually means it's a boss, yes. When there's a fog door. Characteristic of Soulsborne games when there's the fog door. Okay. Should I equip the new ashes that I got? That might be a good idea, right? Yes, it is the key. The key are the ashes. You know, I actually had the chance to try out that jellyfish a little bit ago, the jellyfish summon, and it just seems like it's a damage sponge because it, like, shoots out some poison, but it doesn't really do much damage. Yeah, I mean, it's an extra target, I guess. Look at this, Wandering Noble Ashes. Summons five Wandering Noble Spirits. Alright, let's equip it there, and we'll see what happens. What is this? What the heck? Come on, friendos. Let me drink. I really have to think about my stamina sometimes. I don't let it recover because I'm constantly holding my shield up. I got three sevens of the way there. Did the uh, did the friends help you though? I don't think they did that much, to be honest with you. 
Can I summon you for this? Uh, I think you could. Want to give it a shot? Yeah, I actually I... don't have that bonfire, so I'm probably going to have to find it. Oh. Wait, can't, I just can't summon you using this this thing over here. Uh, I've never used that, um, the summon, what do you call it, the summon stick thing. I only know that you can summon me when I put down my sign. You know what, that's fine. That's fine. I'm just gonna try. I'll just find it. You can. I'm gonna can, keep trying keep it. trying to fight it. It's like I only have 10 more minutes of stream anyway, so. I'm gonna summon my dogs. Maybe they might be better. Mm -hmm. Better suited for this. Up right before this, I would definitely agree. Don't want to be sad about losing a thousand plus runes. Uh, now that I am recalling that video that I saw earlier, this was definitely one of the bosses that they recommended taking on before uh, Margot. And if I'm going to lose to somebody at the end of a stream, I, it might as well be somebody weaker than the last time. Well, when you put it like that. Fire beams. Just like Moltres. Well, I got him to halfway. That is freaky, though. That is freaky. Put down my summon sign near the bonfire. Hopefully, you find me. He's a dog here. Now remind me, how do I summon people? Uh, you have to. So I guess go near the bonfire and then use the uh, what's it called, the pearl calling finger remedy. And if you don't have any pearl calling finger remedy, you just have to craft some. I'm pretty sure I have it. Pearl finger. What does it look like? It looks like a like a small coconut bowl full of um, caramel.
sorry, life is getting in the way. Uh, inventory. Fertile calling finger remedy. Okay. Yep. Wait, is it true that uh, allowing this also makes it so that other random people can invade you? I thought I read that somewhere. That is true, yes. But I mean, what are the odds, you know, that somebody just comes in here and ruins our day? I don't know. I have no idea. I guess all the hundreds of thousands of people watching... Um, Watching the stream could be uh, just waiting for the chance to like be like a little mischievous uh, person. Like you think you might have some stream snipers. Like uh, oh hey I'm gonna be Dennis the Menace. I'm gonna get that guy. All right, this is going to be interesting. All right, now whatever you do. Don't die. I'll keep that in mind. You may now challenge the area. Yes. We got him, bitch. I told you about those stream snipers. Yeah, I guess you were right. Huh? Jeez. Sorcerer Ashes. Rune Arc. Very nice, very nice. Oh, I guess I returned to my world after, uh, after I help you. Does that mean that the person that invaded me also comes back? <laughs> I don't think so. I think you might actually have to fight them. Do they also get uh, summoned to the location where I am? That's a good question. I don't know. Or do they just randomly go to some other place in the world? I mean, if they invade you, I'm assuming that they would have to put... They would have to be somewhere near you. Otherwise, what would be the point? Well, I'm sure it'll be all right. Also, how, do, how exactly do you invade people? Is it you just... I think there's an item that, um, so I think maybe you have to like join a, a faction, but I think that there's also like an item that you can buy at round table hold from the, from the desiccated ladies. And what does that do? I think you it just... literally lets you invade them, anybody. I see. All right. So that was cool. What did you actually get from that boss? Uh, I got a uh, some more ashes, actually. Oh, Let nice. me see. Inventory. So now that will be the key to defeating Margit. They are called Noble Sorcerer Ashes. Summons Noble Sorcerer Spirit. So maybe that's something good. All right, uh, I guess now we are ready to defeat that Margot guy. Wanna, wanna give it a shot? Uh, 
Yes, no. Oh, sorry, I was on mute. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna teleport there now. Okay, do I need to put a thing? Put a furly finger? Hold on. Uh, let me put down my sign first, then you can use your remedy. Can I did that guy ever invade you? I didn't or... see him, so... He must be running around somewhere else in the world. I wonder if he also got dismissed. to find that fire. Actually, how would you know if whatever person is coming at you, would you see them on the map? I mean, if it's anything like Dark Souls, you would just see like a black or red silhouetted person running at you. Oh, I see. Okay, I am going to put down that summon sign near that bonfire. Let me just find the item. Okay, I put it down. Okay. I'm going to use the me remedy. Mm -hmm. And can we still call Roger? Uh, or is it not allowed? You can try. I know that in previous Dark Souls games you could summon two people. Alright, the main event. But uh, for all those stream snipers, uh, feel free to join. <laughs> I would actually advise against that. Yeah, yeah, just yeah, just join it. Uh, all right, and oh look, I can actually do this. Nice. Okay, so now it's three against one. Now remember, don't die. Okay. Now both of you, I assume, are of equal power. Seriously? Oh. <laughs> what the? Damn. The thing... Okay. Here, here is my excuse. I am making an excuse. He was not facing me when that second hit struck. So... I wasn't even defending or anything like that. Can you still uh, be summoned by the same thing or do I have to place a new thing? I think you have to use another remedy. I mean, you can check. I put down my sign. Nah, I don't see your sign anywhere. Yeah, you probably have to use another one then. Okay, let's try one more time. Jeez, clearly the, the key is for me not to do anything. <laughs> Some of his attacks are pretty sneaky. That's annoying. 
Alright, let's go and then we summon Roger. And if you're just joining us for the last minutes of this stream, we are having an old Rasputin and bidding goodbye to the rest of our lives. Just threw me off a cliff. <laughs> oh no. Okay, you know what? Let's do one more go and if it doesn't happen, let's just let's call it a day. Clearly I, I just need more practice. Yeah, that's good. That's that's sad. And also it, it, it works out because this is the last remedy I have. So stupid. I put down my sight. How much did, did we get him all the way to? I think maybe halfway. Um, and by the way, whenever you see like he kind of staggers over, that's... So, I, I, I the only thing that I do is I just position myself either directly in front of him or behind him, and then I do a light attack instead of a heavy attack. Oh, okay. All right, let's just let's just finish this. So silly. Roger, our friend. I can't summon wolves. That's unfortunate. Oh, come on. Alright. Well, we got closer than I have ever. Uh, four sevenths of the way from my account. Mm -hmm. Clearly, I just need more practice. Um, Anyways, that was a that was a good show, John. Very good show. I like that. Mm -hmm. That was indeed fun.
Let's go ahead and call this a day. Uh, so, uh, let's go ahead and cut this desktop. No. Uh, so, thank you very much for all of the, those of you joining us for the Elden Ring stream here. Um, hashtag beginner player. Hashtag I'm never going to get past this boss. Uh, thank you very much for your help, John. I don't know that we could have finished that dog without your assistance. Uh, hopefully we catch you all next week. Although next week might be a bit of a conflict, but uh, I'll, I'll announce it on the socials. Uh, any last words, John? Uh, no, not really. I have a great weekend and uh, I guess... Uh keep an eye out for those markets keep an eye out for those markets indeed uh so then stay thirsty wolfkin we'll see you again <laughs>